15 years old, pop star Debbie Gibson is only beginning to taste superstardom. Having sold more than three million albums in her short career, Gibson is one of the hottest teen singers of the last three decades. She is uniquely fresh, possessing that girl next door look and personality without the ego. I've done theater and commercials and you know, I've, I've worked, <laughs> I've worked a lot. And so um, it's not that it came suddenly and, and easily. You know, I think maybe that's where people tend to get caught up in it. And I still realize that there's, you know, there is life after records, you know, I mean, I go home, my family's very important. And that's helped too, I've got a very good family background. Just a couple of years ago, the name Debbie Gibson meant nothing to those in the music industry. But then one afternoon in August of 1986, the jocks here at New York City's Hot 97 FM received a copy of Debbie's very first record in the mail. They'd never heard of the teenage girl, but they definitely liked what they heard on the vinyl. It's Hot 97's own Debbie Gibson. When we started out over two years ago, she was just a girl, and the song was only in my dreams. Well, now it seems the rest of the country finally woke up, finally spoke up, and now she's got her second way hot LP. The record really caught my ear, only in my dreams. Uh, I talked it over with Joel, our program director. We put it on the air, and a couple days later, one of the people from Atlantic called and said, uh, you made a girl in Merrick very happy. That girl in Merrick, a community on Long Island, New York, was Debbie Gibson, still a high school student at the time. But within a year, Debbie Gibson was graduating not only from high school, but onto the music charts top 10 list. What is the most exciting thing for you? Definitely just being like one-on-one -on -one with the fans. Well, not one-on-one, -on -one, but one-on, -on, you know, thousands, but it's still just to be able to see the instant reactions and like if I do new material, and you know, to get those, to get that direct feedback, I mean, that, that's the best part of it all. It's really my favorite part. Here at New York City's Hard Rock Cafe, Debbie Gibson recently threw an all-out bash celebrating her new album. The so-called clean girl of pop is hoping it will grab the attention of older music lovers, as well as her own teenage following. I think that adults realize there's no age limit. I mean, there's no reason why they can't enjoy someone's music who's, you know, younger than them. That's important, though, to you, isn't it, to cross over? Definitely, and that's another thing about this album. I think that there are a few more adult-sounding, you know, ballads. I don't mind not knowing what I 